So far this year, a number of celebrities and athletes have come out. This is my first out and proud video of the year, but I have several in this series. If you missed the previous videos, be sure to check out the others on my out and proud playlist with other amazing videos. Stay tuned to see who has come out this year. Have you all heard of the Magic Mike series on HBO Max called Finding Magic Mike? It is a reality series about finding a regular guy who is not a stripper or dancer to join the Las Vegas Magic Mike show. It is actually a safe space, which is refreshing for an environment like this. Merlin, one of the cast members, came out as bisexual, and here he is in his own words. I mean, I'm bisexual, so I mean, I don't oh, so mind. Easy for, so you oh, yeah, I, I definitely want to be in the chair. Another cast member, Johnny, came out as sexually fluid. Here is what Johnny said in an interview. Honestly, um, I was just ready for so many years. I know people can relate for so many years. Um, I was, I guess, in the closet. Well, for me, I wasn't because I know who I am, right? But for others, I wasn't out. Um, as an athlete, I had to be politically correct. I couldn't talk about my sexuality because I thought I would, I would miss out on endorsements, honestly. Especially as a queer black man, I was thinking, okay, that's yeah. a no, you can't talk about your sexuality. Especially what's, ha what's, what's happened to Jason Collins and Michael Smith. I was like, I gotta just keep that out of the, the picture, you know? Congratulations to Johnny. Isaiah Rashad is a rapper signed to TDE. Back in February, two clips of him having sex with men were leaked on Reddit. Fortunately, he has received an outpouring of love from his fans. But there have been some ugly comments from people on his social media. He has not made a public statement about what happened. Hopefully, he is in a positive headspace and has put what happened behind him. Thomas Gilbert is a pro disc golfer who has been playing since 2016. He has won 25 games and has earned over $50,000 from the game. He is ranked 24th in the US tour. He came out on Instagram in January. In professional sports, it is a rarity for someone to come out. Think about it. Carl Nassib is the only active NFL player to come out, and Jason Collins is the only NBA player to come out while playing. The first PGA player to come out came out in 2018. No man ever has come out in professional tennis. This is a win for the community. Visibility helps change minds. Congratulations to Thomas. Tevin Campbell is a legendary 90s singer whose song, Can We Talk, hit number one on Billboard. Someone on Twitter tweeted, My mom keep telling me Luther Vandross, Teddy Pendergrass, and Tevin Campbell were gay. Tevin responded with, Tevin is and then deleted the response. Then he added a rainbow in his bio on Twitter and Instagram. Congratulations to him for finally coming out. Now we just need new music from Tevin. Stevenage Football Club is a club in England. Daniel Hutchins, a coach at the football club, came out on Twitter in January. He said that revealing his sexuality was a big deal as it is difficult to be openly gay in football. He went on to say, I haven't even been able to bring myself to tell my teammates and colleagues at the club and that he was sure this message won't go very far but hoped it would help even one person. Fortunately, he has been widely praised after coming out as a gay man. PGA Tour caddy Todd Montoya came out as gay in an emotional interview on the Golf Channel. A native of New Mexico, Todd is believed to be the first known out gay caddy on the PGA Tour, according to Golf Week. He kept his sexuality secret for fear of the impact it would have on his life and potential career. In general, caddies on the PGA Tour earn an annual base salary of $3,000 to $7,500 per tournament plus 10% of the winners winning. In 2007, Tiger Woods caddy took home a total of at least $12 million in bonuses and salaries and received 
10 vehicles won at Tiger events. Rapper Lil Wop, who is also signed to TDE like Isaiah Rashad, came out as bisexual via an Instagram post in February. In the post, WAP wrote, I like boys and girls. Someone in the comment section wrote, he was hacked. The next day, he created a new post stating, he was not. Congratulations to WAP. Kenyan singer Willis Austin teased visuals for his music video, Friday Feeling, on Instagram. On December 2nd, he posted the video, and on December 4th, he wrote, Every color on my mind, I'm gonna let it out tonight with rainbow emojis. Speaking to Kenyan newspaper, The Standard, he said that there was no hiding anymore and that he no longer wanted to live a lie. Regarding his music video, he said, it is the first time I am expressing myself in a song. You really get to know who I am and that is a heavy crown to carry. It is just a representation of the underground ballroom culture within the queer community, which I am part of. So I am just laying everything bare from now on. James Cameron Mitchell is an actor, playwright, screenwriter, and director. James portrayed the role of Joe Exotic in the Peacock limited series, Joe vs. Carol. In 1998, James wrote and starred in Hedvig and the Angry Itch, an off-Broadway rock musical about a genderqueer East German rock musician. In a discussion on whether cisgendered heterosexual actors should play LGBT characters, James stated, Lately, I have been getting a lot of flack for playing Hedvig. Some have said only trans people can play that role because it's a trans role. I am not trans. I am non-binary. Sawyer Fredericks is a blues singer who won the eighth season of The Voice in 2015, becoming the youngest male winner in the history of the competition at age 16. Fredericks announced that he was bisexual on Instagram on February 1st. Before airing, season 14 of Drag Race was celebrated for having two black trans women on the show, Carrie Kobe and Cornbread Jate. On the show, Jasmine Kennedy, a drag queen from New York City, came out as trans during an episode of Untucked. She stated that it was seeing Carrie being openly and unapologetically trans that gave her the courage to come out. The day of my birthday, February 10th, Bosco, a Seattle queen, came out as trans as well. In the post, Bosco stated that she medically transitioned after the show finished taping. Willow Pill, the most recent queen to come out as trans, came out via Instagram using a rather sexy photo of Denali. I still cannot believe this is Denali. Willow stated that being around other trans women on set led her to realize that she is trans after years of body dysmorphia. Congratulations to all of them. Maria Thaddle is Miss Universe Australia 2020, as well as a TV personality, keynote speaker, and columnist. She came out as bisexual on a recent episode of the Australian reality television series, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Congratulations, Maria. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know who's coming out shocked you, who did you fall in love with, and who will you follow on social media. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.